so um, I'm just carrying on with the tutorial that I've already or I'm redoing a tutorial that I've already set up to you guys um, I'll go through the basics as usual um, and we'll try out uh, one or two different methods which is different from the first tutorial alright so of course you open up Photoshop first thing that you want to do is to create a new um, project or a new document you can name name this um, whatever title that you will be able to find so I'll just name name the sketch I want to make my width 150 by 150 because I want it to be in a square ratio and um, so this will I'm having in mind that it'll be nice if you want to or for me if I could upload it onto um, Instagram um, but of course whatever dimension you are more comfortable with you can use that and um, the resolution will change it to 72 so anything um, as a rule of thumb um, you don't have to stick to it but anything um, within se around 72 to ratio for online submission online work should be fine if you're going to move on to printed work then you'll be looking at um, 300 um, and if it's going to be like huge posters it should be above that um, but for just this example we'll just keep that as 72 um, keep the rest of the settings as it is and we'll create a new document alright so that's the ratio that we started which is slightly different from the first video where um, you import the images your sketch images first then we cropped out the cropped out the unwanted areas then we work from there but this I'll just set um, my project first or my 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 document first and I'll import images from there so you want to go into your file you want to find um, or you want to open up a new document so you'll find your document so these are the two documents um, so I did just I didn't scan it in because I know that um, not everyone has um, access to a scanner so this is basically the tutorials I'm, I'm using the tools that you guys would be using so I am using a mouse I'm not using a drawing tab tablet and um, so at least you guys know that it's still possible to achieve some 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 decent um, concept um, work with your mouse alright so this is just a picture that I just took from my mobile phone um, obviously I made sure I tried to um, uh, when I was taking the photo I tried to have a lot, a lot of light um, but the light I don't want the light to kind of reflect on the lines to take away the darkness I tried to exclude my shadow in it I'm um, just preparing um, for Photoshop um, but of course if you do have shading or anything more in there you just need to um, clean up your project a little bit more alright so what I'm going to use is just a lasso tool just um, outline everything there um, so I can cut this out and um, paste it into my sketch document so at the top here um, you have your lasso tools and um, we want to use this middle lasso tool and just deselect that Enter. okay so I'm going to right click at the top I want to use this middle lasso tool polygonal lasso tool and I'm just going to click on the points on the page that I just want to crop out or cut out um, so you'll do this for however many documents that you would want to edit um, I'll move on to where my layers are just want to left click that to unlock the lock and I want to copy this um, or cut this out so I can paste it into my sketch document so you can click on command X to cut or control X to cut and that cuts your image out click on the new document then all we do is click on control or command V to paste it on and um, so that's one I'm gonna work on that a little bit more I'll go on to my next document I'm still using the, the lasso tool just gonna highlight or select the areas that I actually want to work on a little bit more alright so that's selected um, so if the shortcut key method didn't work you can always go on to edit you can click on cup, cut or copy you still have the hotkeys suggestion there 
Um, so your one, depending on what device, um, it will either be Control or Command, which is this format. So I'll cut this, go into my new layer, and go back to Edit. Now I have this paste icon there, so you can paste it. Alright, so that's just as a starting point. I want to change the orientation, so I'll just rotate both these images around. So what I'll do is Control T, which is your Transform tool. And I just want to move it just slightly. Then you'll see at the top here, it will it will show you the degrees that you want to rotate your image. And I want to rotate it minus 90 degrees, so it's right up. So I'll just hide that one, that top layer. Make sure my other layer is selected, my layer 1 is selected. Click on Control T. I'm going to move it just slightly, and I know that I'll click on minus 90 to change the orientation. I can confirm that. Alright, so that's the starting point. What I, I'm only going to use probably one or two of these faces, so I don't need that. So what I can do is just to start off with, since I'm probably only going to use this face here, I'll select that whilst my layer is selected. So it's the layer that I want to cut um, my image out, and I'll click on um, Command or Control um, X to cut that out. I don't need this layer because I'm not going to use anything else from it, so I'll just delete it by moving it down to the bin. And I'll click on Control V to paste my image. So I'm probably going to move that somewhere at the top of the head there. I'll re edit that later on. Alright, so the first thing I want to do is just to strip all the color from the my reference or my, my sketched image you want to strip all the color from from the page so we want to go up onto the top you want to go to the image you have your adjustment and you want to go down to hue and saturation just click on that you have hue you have saturation and you have the lightness so hue is just your variation of color and your saturation is how bright or vivid your color can get and your lightness is of course if it's going to go light or dark alright so we will just want to take out all the color in the hue and saturation by just putting the your handle all the way to the bottom here which strips all the color I'll confirm that go on to the next layer and I'll do the same so I'll go to image adjustment hue and saturation and strip the color from our saturation there confirm that so you want to clean it up a little bit. Um, some people had some shadings in their work. Um, if you have shadings in your work, um, what you can do, you can select the white area here. Then you can. We don't need to uh, uh, cut out our shadings in the middle section here. Um, you can keep that as a style if you want. But I'll show you what I mean later on. All right. So just for now, we just want to make this white a little bit white. Um, and the dark lines a little bit darker in this process and um, you'll see if you have shading it won't go extremely white and um, because um, because you have that extra shading so you want to go back up to your images and from your images you want to click on this tab where it says levels um, actually no let's start off with this brightness and contrast to begin with so you want to click on brightness and contrast um, you just want to make it a little bit brighter, make the image a little bit brighter, and the contrast is making your whites really white and your darks really dark. So you want to just move that up just a little bit. Now I might come back to this, just playing around with the settings to see what um what looks better for me. So I'll do that. Then I want to go back up to my images, go into my adjustments, and go on to levels now. So levels, you have three handles, and you have your ha handles which actually makes your darks a little bit darker. You have the middle handle which controls your grey, and um, then you have your white handle which controls how much white it is. So we know that we're going to make the page a little bit white. So I'll move my handle up, somewhere there, and I want to bring in some of my dark outlines, so I'll move that all the way up. So even if that, um, it doesn't look like I'll need to even play around with the grey, um, but if you had a bit of grey in, in your image, you can play around with that to get the desired effect that you want. 
All right, so I'm happy with that. I'll just click on OK. And we'll just reapply the same method onto the top. So if you did want to keep it gray, like I said, um, you'll just do the same process. Um, it might not go as white as how it looks on mine, um, but that's a starting point. So I'll quickly do the hue. Um, go into images, adjustment, then we want to start. Let's start off with levels this time because we started off with the, the contrast for my first image. So let's see what the difference would be. So I'll bring up my darks and I'll bring up the whites. So that's already stripped out a lot of the color. So now I can even play around with the, the gray to make it a little bit darker. Click on OK. And the last thing that you want to do, we're going to image adjustment, then we want to just make it work on the brightness and contrast. Make that a little bit bright and make your the darks just stand out a little bit darker. So just as it is there, um, that's a good starting point. Um, at least it's cleaned up the image. Um, images are looking a little bit decent. What you can do from here onwards, um, you can just um, clean up the, this hard dark line because you might not need that. Um, if there's a bit of gray, all you just need to do is click on your brush, which is B. We can find your brush tool there. If you right click, you have these different settings. Make sure the brush tool is selected. You can select your brush right at the top there. You have your 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 brush settings where you can access more um, brushes. Um, so you can play around with that to see what is your desired effect. But you have your brush tool there. You can still access it. You can change the size bigger or smaller um, but what I usually do is click on um, the the brackets button so it's a square brackets going um, close square brackets going big um, then you have open square brackets going small so that's just your hotkeys um, just to make your workflow a little bit easier or quicker so the same method so I know that I want to just get rid of these lines all I'll do is make sure my my brush is set to white and I'll just paint that out. All right, so I'll let you guys get on with that. I'm just going to quickly probably just erase some of these images that I don't need here. I'll change the proportions um, of my images. Um, then um, that will be the first part for now. But all I'll do is just the same principle. So I'm going to fast forward the video from here.